Did you know that eyes can be affected in patients with ankylosing spondylitis? Actually, 25 to 35 percent of patients with ankylosing spondylitis can develop inflammation in their eyes. Many times, inflammation is affecting one eye, but there are situations when both eyes are affected. Today, I will explain you what are the most common signs of inflammation in the eyes, who is at risk to develop inflammation in the eyes, and how do we treat it. Hi, I'm Dr. Gurnita, or you can call me Dr. G. If you are suffering from arthritis, autoimmune diseases, or if you are looking to prevent those diseases and improve your quality of life, hit the button below to like, share, or subscribe to my channel. Ankylosing spondylitis is a common disease affecting about 3.2 million adults in the United States. These numbers can be actually higher as many patients get diagnosed very late in life. Ankylosing spondylitis is an inflammatory disease of the back, but it may also involve other joints. Learn more about the common signs of ankylosing spondylitis from another video that I posted in my channel. The most common symptoms of these patients are back pain, joint pain, and severe morning stiffness. However, ankylosing spondylitis can affect other organs, such as heart, your eyes, your gut, or the lungs. As I mentioned, ankylosing spondylitis can affect eyes in 25 to 35% of cases. It may affect one eye or both eyes. The most common signs are redness, pain, visual changes like blurry vision or photophobia, which means that patients do not stand the light. Who is at risk to develop inflammation in the eyes? Patients that have the disease for a long period of time or patients that have an HLA-B27 positive will have an increased risk to develop inflammation in the eyes or as we call it, uveitis. Sometimes the inflammation of the eyes is the first sign of the disease. About 50% of people with uveitis have a form of ankylosing spondylitis. The severity of the eye disease is not correlated with the severity of ankylosing spondylitis. How do we treat it? Uveitis needs to be treated promptly. Why? Because it can lead to permanent vision issues like visual loss or cataracts or even glaucoma. How do we treat it? It is very important to be evaluated immediately by an eye specialist and start treatment. The most common treatments include steroids or prednisone drops. At times, more advanced therapies are needed like TNF inhibitors. Frequent checkups are required to make sure the eye inflammation is responding appropriately. If you are concerned about ankylosing spondylitis, please consult a rheumatologist that will be able to evaluate you further. This video is just for educational purposes and will not offer you medical advice. So, if you are looking to learn more and also improve your quality of life, don't forget to hit the button below to like, share, or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Rheumatologistoncall.com